in the dramedy, uh, Dr. Horrible. Um, one thing I found interesting was how much situational irony there was. Um, Billy and Dr. Horrible are portrayed as the villain and therefore represent good and evil. Um, in the song Everything You Ever, Penny, well, when Penny dies, Billy um, metaphorically dies too. Um, the song is full of uh, sad irony. Um, as it's sang by Dr. Horrible, he, he is mourning um, Penny and he states, uh, here lies everything the world I wanted at my feet. Um, Penny was his world or um, the do door to his evil world, um, a la the evil league, um, finally opened. Values uh, the, I found as the a paradox of good and evil. Um, as said before, Billy and Dr. Horrible are good and evil. Um, the, they also are the villain, but they, all, but they are the protagonist. Um, he's motivated to uh, improve humanity, as Billy put it, but then also to change status quo because status is not quo put by um, Dr. Horrible. Um, he's also um, shows, uh, represents this when he's singing My Freeze Ray when he wants to win Penny's heart, but also rule the world. And then Captain Hammer, who is the hero, he's the antagonist. Um, his actions are superficially good. Um, they're just self selfish intentions. Um, he's the, as he finds, um, accepts the homeless shelter opening, um, but it was only because Penny um, initiated it. Um, something I looked up was more in depth was the Wander Flonium. Um, this is a, a metaphor of death. I, I, I found this very helpful as I understood um, that the bouncing of the, the Wanderflonium ultimately led to karma and poetic justice in that last act as uh, he tries to, um, uh, um, Dr. Orville tries to kill Dr. or Captain Hammer um, and then ultimately d Captain Hammer uh, who tr who comes out of the freeze and tries to kill him first, uh, which a hero is not supposed to do, um, and then ultimately loses his superpowers because of his e egotistical um, nature. And then uh, in in the wake of all that, um, the gun explodes and death the death of Penny, and then therefore that death of uh, Billy happens as well as a result, and then their death of their intimate relationship. Um, this just helped me understand a little bit on the next level of the, of the show. Um, issue of diversity is gender. Um, this musical genre, traditionally implicit of, of a feministic viewpoint, um, has been challenged by uh, Joss Whedon um, as Dr. Horrible and Billy uh, regender uh, during the songs to um he's e emasculated when he doesn't sing but is um the only way he can convey his masculinity is during the songs um the portrayal of men and women are traditionally reinforced by the by the musical um because partly because they're interdependent so that is very um that's that's reinforced and between the civilization or the civilized and primitive masculinities um, that identify the impossibility of, of attaining a hegemonic masculinity, um, which is, and examples are domination, power, control. Um, these are fluid representations of, of men in today's society. Um, the song I chose was Slipping, which uh, the paradox of evil, of uh, Dr. Horrible's ego, um, is an internal struggle that slowly uh, he he loses control of Dr. Horrible. Billy tries to suppress him as long as he can. Um, and then within the plot and the dramatization and the character um, development uh, in that scene in Act 3, um, the revenge on Hammer, ultimately, or um, Captain Hammer, he kills Penny, um, but he becomes a member of the Evil League and then um, as he transitions to evil, um, the good, good side of him, Billy, slips away. 
two questions I've had is um, Dr. Horrible truly bad or are his constant screw-ups um, in his uh, gun um, underlying intentions that uh, he struggles internally with good versus evil um, at the end of at the end what did um, Dr. Horrible mean when he said uh, I won't feel as he's dressed in that red red lab coat and then it transitions back to him in street clothes in his lab uh, he says a thing um, does he no longer feel anything or is this an action of an experiment he's conducting thank you